Hey YouTube, let's talk a little bit about mag wobble. First off, you may notice I have two AKMs here. Other people call them AK-47s, you know, whatever, but AKMs. This one is a Wasser 1063, obviously. There's no dimple. Notorious for the Wassers. This is an Egyptian Mahdi parts kit that I built a while back. It has a dimple. A lot of people think that the reason these, back in the older days, had serious mag wobble was because of the lack of the dimple. Honestly, the dimple has nothing to do with the stability of your magazine at all. The little rails inside are what actually give the magazine its stability. And if you're not sure of what I'm talking about, these are rails. These are what gets welded into the receiver. Obviously, this is the ejector side. These are the bottom of the rails. They're way oversized. These have to be trimmed once they're spot welded in to allow the magazine to slide up and lock into place. If too much of this material is removed, it will wobble like crazy. Granted, you want a slight amount of wobble. You don't want a magazine on an AK-47 or AKM to be super tight. It makes it way too hard to get in. It has to be almost perfect to lock into position. The reason the 1063 had problems with mag wobble back in the old days was back when they used to be single stack mags. This mag well was a lot thinner because the single stack magazine obviously was smaller than the double stack. I don't know if the camera will show this or not, but you'll see the little plate in here that's welded in right below the top or the bottom rail there. The spot welded in. Those are what gives it the stability of your magazine. The dimple, all the dimple actually does is make this part more rigid so it doesn't squeeze as easily. You can't damage it as easily. That's the only reason it's there. These do not touch your magazine. So the dimples have absolutely nothing to do with mag wobble. When the band was lifted and these were allowed to be uh, resold as double stack magazines, they had to come in here and mill all this out. If you're, say, a guy didn't pay attention to what he was doing and he milled too much off, you're going to get a lot of mag wobble. That's why these wobble. Mine doesn't wobble. Now I'll show you a receiver you want to use for another build for parts kit. This is an 80% blank here from AK Builder. Go check those guys out. The rails obviously get welded inside. And this giant piece right here, as you see it, right there. When both of those are welded in, you cannot fit a magazine into this receiver. You have to come back and trim it to allow your magazine to fit. You'll see the dimples in there in the magazine. When you insert this, if I can get the camera to cooperate here, you'll notice there is a lot of room For that magazine to wobble around. These do not keep this from rocking back and forth. Some people will say, but I can see marks inside of here where the magazine is rubbed. That is true. But that's because you've come in, you've gone sideways and smashed it side to side, where this will slightly touch if you put enough force left or right on it. Only reason these dimples are here, not to make it look all cute and pretty, is to keep this section from squishing in. Because I said before on the Wasser, it was a single stack originally so it could be sold in the USA or imported in the USA. With that smaller section in there, this would have been a lot more strong, rigid. You wouldn't have to worry about it as much. Plus it's an extra step in your uh, 
die that you won't have to machine in when you stamp everything out. So they just came in and spot welded another piece in there that had another little lip on it. That gave it enough stability because, like I said, this was narrower than an original. So they didn't need the dimples. And it gives it a registered trademark of, hey, that's a Wasser because there's no dimples. Back in the old days, they had tons of wobble. You had canted front sides. A lot of those issues have been addressed today. You don't have to worry about it as much. This was the first rifle I bought, and I got on YouTube and got some opinions from people and decided, well, I need to check for mag wobble. I was fortunate enough when I bought this rifle, they allowed me to take it to their little uh, rack of surplus magazines and try several magazines just to see if it had wobble. It did not, obviously, so this is the one I bought. The front sight wasn't canted, so this is the one I bought. This one I said I built. Funnest headache I've ever had. But that's why you have mag wobble. You can come in and fix these if you don't mind doing that. Some people are a little leery of trying to go in and spot weld more material in there and do it, but you can, or if you have a buddy or a place that'll do it for you, you can get rid of that. Mag wobble isn't a big deal. Like I said, you want a little bit of wobble. You don't want it super duper tight. And then it's a pain in the butt to get it in. Yeah, that's what she said. But <laughs> anyway, a little bit of wobble is good. It allows the magazine to be injected or uh, ejected and reinserted with ease. If it has too much wobble though, you don't want that because then when your bolt comes across, what happens to wobble across when you've got a shell in here, and that bolt cannot strip that off of there. If I pay attention to the camera, I'd see where I was at. <laughs> you could actually miss, or the bolt can ride over that shell, causing a failure to feed. But that's pretty much it, folks. Once again, these dimples do not have anything to do with mag wobble. If that's the whole reason why you may pass up a Wasser 1063, well, then so be it. But you may pass up on a good deal and a decent rifle. But too many people think that this being absent on the Wasser is why you get wobble. It's just not the case. So hey, go out, buy you a 1063, buy an Arsenal, it doesn't matter. AK's an AK. Some people may cringe at that and say Arsenal's better. Possibly. Still an AK. Just depends on if you've got that kind of money to throw around or not. Or you can build one. It's getting a little bit uh, more expensive to actually build one now than it is to just buy one, but whatever you prefer. But anyway, not the cause of mag wobble. Just for stability, rigidity. That's it.